Good morning. I'm a state certified instructor. I teach teens and adults. I teach driver's education. Let's go ahead and get it. We're going to talk about what every driver must know. And the chapter we're on today is chapter seven. And this is emergency situations. So we're always faced with emergency situations. and We need to be able to drive slowly. The user driver will be faced with very unusual situations. Example would be young drivers and teens are very uncertain on their skill set behind the wheel. So if you're a beginning driver with less than 10 years of experience, you need to be digesting my content. Emergency scene ahead. These are construction signs. Uh, be prepared to stop. And then also we have to deal with aggressive driving. Aggressive driving, someone who is driving excessively fast or excessively uh, aggressive where they're cutting off cars, speeding behind cars, or stopping real hard. This kind of upsets the balance. And there's also a balance when you drive. You want to be safe. You want to be peaceful. Next, let's talk about uh, intersections. Intersections are the most dangerous place. People are making right turns. They're making left turns. Pedestrians are walking. Uh, if we would get hit or could get hit, it would be at an intersection. The odds are greatly increased, so you need to have particular care. You need to scan, look left, look right, and look ahead. Uh, let's talk about tailgaters. That goes under aggressive driving. You want to keep space. You want to be able to see the rear of the tires on the ground. Next, let's get into freeway driving. You want to particularly be consistent when you merge on the expressway. You want to pick a gap, you want to accelerate, and you want to go. When you're first learning how to drive, you're not sure of how fast you need to go. So you have to be particularly careful with that. Uh, let's talk about worrying about merging. This is always a challenge. If you're hesitant and inconsistent, you will get cut off. And on your DMV test or road test, the odds are you will reduce points leaving the expressway. You want to reduce your speed, you want to go slower, and go slow around the cloverleaf. Clover, cloverleaf's a very long curve. You have Chevron alignment signs. If you've seen my content before, I've talked about cloverleaf signs and how they help direct you. They are also warning signs. They are yellow with the background and black letters. Those are your typical warning letters. Let's go ahead and continue. We're almost done. Let's talk about driving in the fog. This is particularly important. You need to have your low beam headlights on. I know you're thinking, I need to have my high beams on. But this picture is of high beam lights reflecting the fog particles. Look to the edge line to the right. I hope this was helpful. If it is and you want more content like this, let me know. Subscribe to my channel. Bye.